Um, no, I mean, it's going to be one of those, we're going to get a CT scan on him, make sure there's nothing structurally wrong in terms of where, I mean, he got hit right in the temple, which is scary to begin with. Um, but we're going to get a CT scan on him. He's moving around his normal self, so, but we're going to pay close attention to him and, um, you know, we'll see where that goes from there. But yeah, that's always scary. Well, I think it says a lot. They find ways to win, and um, we got to pitch better. But I think the main thing is, is you know, the pitching is held up against really good ball clubs. We've had some bad stretches, but the offense is the name of the game right now. I mean, Coach Bruce and and Coach Delara, Coach Scout. I mean, you can't say enough about having the guys prepared in a way where you know they just. The next guy, it doesn't matter who it is, and they're ready to do it. Take it really good at bats. He's in the middle of the field. So, um, you know, I can't say enough about Coach Bruce and, you know, what he's done to the mentality of our offense at TCU. Hey, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, I think the first thing was is, Storm Heroes hadn't thrown in a game since May 2nd, or May 7th of 2022. So that was great to see him back out there. Colt Taylor hadn't pitched in a TCU uniform yet. I thought his inning was as big a, a, of an inning as any inning in terms of what he did. I thought he executed and threw the ball well, uh, and Zach closed it down. But yeah, Bix, you know, we wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into it for a young kid that goes through Tommy John in high school. And the main thing is, can we get him into a spot where we feel is a good spot for him to start. And today was the day, and it was, you know, I mean, it was a seven to five ball game. And all he did is, you know, he, he filled up the strike zone. And it was really good to see because we're gonna need him um, as the season goes on. And it's a good confidence boost for him to know that, hey, my stuff and, and what I do is plenty good enough at this level. And he really only did it with one pitch. He threw a couple good sliders, but really, he dominated with one pitch, and I thought my big two takeaways watching him pitch was in the first inning he fell behind a guy, and I saw him take a huge deep breath, and then in his third inning I saw him fall behind a guy 2-1, and I saw him take a huge big breath, which to me that tells me that he was in control of himself. He realized it, he understood it, took a breath, got focused back in, and did a phenomenal job. Oh, I, well, I mean, it starts with you know Coach Dakin in terms of, the big thing is getting these guys in in July for our summer school so that they can have an understanding prior to, this, to the fall uh, semester starting what our culture is, what our program's about. They get to know each other, they get familiar with TCU, and they get familiar with what's expected of them. And a lot of that happens in the weight room with Coach Dakin uh, over the summer. Uh, there's a lot of discipline instilled with him. And, uh, and then really from that point forward, it's just a matter of, it's just daily work, you know, daily work every single day and giving them opportunities to have success. And and then it comes down to the player. And But it was really good to be able to see Micah Kendry get in there for the first time and play third base. To see Zach Wattis in there for his first at-bat. I know it didn't go as perfectly as planned, but it's their first time in a college game and I thought it was awesome to see those guys. And then Ryder Robinson, I, I thought, played a really, really good shortstop. Uh, just giving Anthony a day off and getting his legs back underneath him, it was great to be able to see Mike, our uh, rider, do a good job playing shortstop. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to get quality of bats. You know, you're going to get quality of bats. He's hitting the two hole for a reason because you know what you're going to get there, especially after Shat uh, at the top of the order. You know, and then you got Sammy, you got, you got some ability to do a lot of different things with him. So, you know, he just continues to do what we know he's, I mean, he's played for a really good organization in the summer, and, you know, the Texas 12, and, uh, you know, Coach Delara has sang his praises for a long time that he's never going to wow you with maybe when you watch him take BP or do whatever, but just wait wait till the game starts, and Coach Delara, like he, like he is most every time, is right on the money with his evaluation, so.